Hi guys, I'm back. I have something a little bit different for you today. Um, I was emailed and asked to do if I would do a review on a purse. Now these purses are from Teddy Blake. I kind of investigated them before I said that I would do it. I wanted to make sure they were on the up and up and you know that kind of stuff and I did see that they have this is the way that they get the word out about their purses is they have um, influencers review them. Now I did tell the gal that I was talking to that I can't really review it until I use it for a while but that I can do like a first looks. I can, you know, obviously show you all how the purse looks. You know, I can basically just do that much on the first video. And she was fine with that. Now I went to the website, I read their mission statement. Um, I looked at the purses, the purses are beautiful, they have um, I wrote, I wrote some talking points down. Um, I've been waiting. I have not seen the purse that I got. I know which purse I got because she let me pick. Now the first purse I picked out, oh, so in love with it. It was fuchsia and it was out of stock. So then I picked another purse. And I can't remember what color I picked. I think I picked black because most of my purses are black. And it was a completely different style, everything. That one, oh yeah, it was black and it had red on the inside. And I just thought, oh God, that's so beautiful. And it's not something that I would normally get. I mean, black, yes, but not red. And the red did show a little bit. Anyway, that one was out of stock. So it had taken me like a whole day to find, pick those because there's so many to pick from, so many colors in each style. Um, and I'm very indecisive. <laughs> so I was really bummed when the two, the, the one that I really, really, really wanted, the fuchsia one was out of stock. So I said, okay, I'll go back and look. And I was just overwhelmed with so many purses. So I, um, meanwhile, she sent me, I said, I'm really, really wanted a, that pink purse. I really wanted that fuchsia one. She said, well, here's a list of the pink purses that we do have in stock. None of them were fuchsia. They were all light pink. And we do have the, the other one, the black one that you liked in these colors. Well, I don't really like those colors. So then I started looking through the pink ones. I asked my mom to go through the site and help me because I knew it was gonna be so hard for me. Anyway, when I got the list of the pink purses, I sent all those links to my mom and said, mom, just help me please. You know, I really wanna get a pink purse and I just can't make a decision. So she had picked one and she said, this one looks really nice. This one looks really rich, you know and not like expensive bridge, but really nice. And I didn't really like it because it was a croc leather pattern on it, print, whatever they call that, stamped, you know, it's not real crocodile, obviously, it's leather. But, and I don't, I don't know, I just didn't really like that. But I found that same purse in a different type of leather and so I asked my mom, what do you think about this one? She said, yes, that one, that one. So I just said, fine, I'm gonna go with it. I sent her the, the gal the link um, and she said that one was in stock and we were a go. So I got the purse, it's in this big box right here. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't wanna open it. I wanted to do first looks with you guys. I wanted to be surprised and but then I started thinking what if she sent me I know this is long I'm sorry what if she sent me paperwork you know that I need to look at so I don't know a few days ago I had my daughter open it and look she said there's no paperwork in there 
She didn't tell me anything about the purse. She didn't say one word. She didn't make any facial expressions or anything. She just brought the box back into me. She said, there's no paperwork. So I said, okay. So I went on their website. I wrote down a few notes that I will go over with you and then we will open this purse. So let me get to it. The company is called Teddy Blake, New York. They're based out of New York, but they have um, Italian purse makers. I'm not sure, there's probably a fancy name for those. And a lot of their leather is Italian leather. Um, their motto, their mission statement is, the luxury you deserve without the premium price without the premium price tag. Compared to luxury, this is comparing to luxury brands like Coach, Birkin, those kind of purses that are super, super, super expensive. Um, they use Italian leather and artistry. There's many, 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 many purses, handbags, totes, um, from trendy to classic or timeless from casual to dressy. They have everything. Um, they use high-end leathers and hardware with great durability. Strong stitching that will make sure your Teddy Blake bag will last a lifetime. And there's hundreds of bags and colors to choose from, and there really is. It was so hard for me to make a decision. So the purse that I got is called the Gigi. Stampato with gold hardware, 13 inches. So I'm assuming it's 13 inches and it's pink. Pink. So let's open it finally. Holy cow. I might have to, let me see, what can I do here? I'll do this. Okay, I'm gonna set it in front of me. Open it. I know. The box is huge. I kept thinking, did she send me a suitcase or what? Okay. Can I get this out? Oh, wow. The box is fancy. It's a box inside a box. I don't know if I can even get this out. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of the cardboard box. Okay. Here's the box that it comes in. Really fancy. There's the company, Teddy Blake, New York. It opens. It's magnetic closure. Wow, that's fancy. It opens like this. Oh, it has like something. It says something in it. Hold on. It says, I know I'm going to cover you guys up if I do this. Let's see. Teddy Blake, New York, designer handbags, made in Italy, luxury leather, excuse me, each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. Okay, so then this is what it looks like. Inside, sorry about that. It's in tissue and then bubble wrap. I'm gonna move this box. Ooh, I can smell it. I can smell it. Holy moly, it's a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is what it... Mmm, smells like leather. Okay, scissors. Carefully <laughs> cut it open. Okay, so it's in a bag, like a bubble wrap bag. Oh my gosh, this is so nice, you guys. And then it's in its own dust bag. Really nice. It's drawstring. I'm excited. Oh, it's pretty. It's classic looking. I'm gonna turn the tag. Oh wait. Oh, 
I guess it goes this way. Oh, it goes this way. Here it is. It's just a pale pink. Double handles. Here's the back. It says Teddy Blake, New York, and it's printed, stamped in gold. The hardware is gold. And I think, oh, you have to open it down here. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have to open these straps, which is weird to me. No? Yeah, I can't open it any other way. Hmm, that's kind of, that's kind of, are you kidding me? Why can't I open it? I can't find any other way to open this. This is sealed right here. And I can't, oh, because it goes like this. Okay, so this just flips up. I was trying to pull it through this way. Okay, so it goes up like that, up like that, and then this. I don't know that I really like that. I don't like the way that it flaps open like that. Oh, it's really nice though. It's suede on the inside. It came packed with paper to keep it shaved. Okay, here's the inside. It has a zippered pocket here, and that's it. It's big, it's pretty good size. And then it has a long strap, so you can wear it crossbody or on your shoulder. And this is the way you adjust the strap with these little hooks. Okay, let me close it up. I really, I, I guess I, they don't really show you how it opens or I didn't pay attention, but this is a lot of work to open and close your purse, you know? And if you don't close it, you know, if you didn't feel like closing it, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. It's a beautiful color. I love the pale pink. Okay, I'm gonna close it. Wait, am I gonna close it? Yeah, I can close it. I'm gonna close it. It smells so good. Okay, that's weird. Why is this one? This one looks like this, and this one looks like this. That's kind of weird. Can you pull them or? Oh, it kind of pulls, I see. Okay, depending on how much stuff you had towards the top, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put the, it has these nice swivel hooks on a D-ring and they open like that. So, and then on the inside, which I probably shouldn't have closed, well, they're, it's kind of sticking out. I think I can do it. And they're really, it's tight. So it once you get it on there, it's not gonna come off. It's not gonna slip off anyway. Okay, got it. Do I put it on the right way? Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. It's on a swivel, Michelle. Jeez. Okay. There. So that's what it looks like with the strap. Let's see. I'm kind of close, I know. I'm sorry. I have it up high. I mean, I don't think I would wear it like this. I think I would just wear it like this. It's nice. I'm just not the biggest fan of the way it 
closes. But it's a beautiful purse and I just wanna thank Teddy Blake for sending me this so that I could review it. Beautiful, soft, supple leather. And yet this is very um, sturdy. The sides are sturdy to hold its shape, but yet the sides are softer. The handles are nice. I mean, it's it looks really, oh, at the bottom, it doesn't have feet on it, but it's very, very nice. Feels like it would be easy to clean. I have leather cleaner for my purses. Um, but I think you probably just, you know, with a washcloth, you could just, a damp washcloth. But I do have leather cleaner. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful purse. So, thank you to Teddy Blake for sending me that. I will link, put their link in the description. I don't believe they gave me a discount code or anything. But if they do, I will tell you and put that in there. I will, I will put it in the description if I find that out. But here it is. This is the Gigi Stem, Stempato 13 inch in pink. It's more like blush, light, light pink. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the dust bag. Till I put all my junk in there. <laughs> Till I, it's nice for summer too. I think it'll be nice. I'll change out my, my black purse and use this for a while. Try it out. Ta-da. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Teddy Blake. All right. Now the reason you all came here, Timu. I have two orders here. I figured I'd just do them. I was supposed to do them for the end of the month. Today is May 1st. Happy May to everybody. So let's just get into it. I think I'm gonna do this bag first. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm still not feeling that great, but I'm, I'm just gonna fake it till I make it. Uh, we had, we had a day today. So my daughter had to go to physical therapy for her back and a friend of hers dropped off Shelby, the youngest, everybody else got, found their way home from school. And then my daughter usually picks up Shelby and brings her home. Um, and then she's home for the day but she had to go to physical therapy. So she had a friend pick Shelby up and bring her home. And then my daughter just happened to text me and say that she was at Walmart. Did I need anything? So I knew she was at the store. And then, I don't know, must've been 20 minutes, 30 minutes later. It seemed, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I hear the lawnmower going. So I think, oh, my daughter must've come home so I go out through the garage and I see it's my son. My son's mowing the lawn. Oh, I should have known. The girls are like, no, mom's mom went to the doctor. I said, well, I think she's back because I think she's mowing the lawn. No, anyway, it was my son. So I'm standing out there. The dog follows me out there. So I'm trying to get the dog back in and he doesn't run off or anything. He's good. But so I'm kind of just watching my son mow the lawn and watching the, you know, calling the dog. And then all of a sudden I see my son walk off towards the park and we live next door to a park. So I see him and he's walking up to, we have those baby swings, the small swings that have the seats. And there's a girl in there, a girl, not a baby, a girl. She was probably like, seven maybe in the baby seat and now she's stuck her mom is there it looked like maybe her siblings were there but she's hysterical so my son had walked over to try to help so when i see what's going on i'm thinking he's gonna need somebody to help him get her out you know he's gonna try to pull her out from the top and i'm gonna try to you know force her legs out from the bottom if you will 
So we get over there and she's just worked herself up. She, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I can't get out. I feel so bad for her. Anyway, we tried to pull her up and she was in there tight. I mean, these are made for toddlers. Her mom was mad, you know, kind of saying, I told you not to get in there. And But the mom had no idea how she was gonna get her out. She was just kind of standing there. <laughs> and I said, Put your, put your feet on my hands and I'll hold your feet and we'll, you can, you know, use your weight to push, you know, push down and stand up and my son will pull you out. She couldn't do it. Said, I can't, I can't. And she was just getting more and more agitated, shaking and crying. I felt so bad for her. Anyway, my son says, I'll be right back. <laughs> he left. Luckily, we live right next door. And comes back and he's got the Pam spray, cooking spray, and a bottle of lotion or a tube of lotion. And he said, I said, oh yeah, let's try that. So I got the lotion. I told her, I'm going to put this on your thighs up here, you know, I mean, and I got the lotion. I put it in my hands really. And then I tried to rub it, you know, up under where the seat was cutting into her thighs and I got it around one leg pretty good. I tried to do the other leg and then I tried to see if we could, if it was getting slippery at all. No, wasn't budging. She's crying. She's getting worse. I'm never, I just want to get out of here. I just want to get out of here. And it was, it was awful. My son's trying to pull her. He's at, the mom's telling her, stand up. And she can't really touch the ground because her legs are just stuck in a sitting position, you know? So anyway, I said, we're not going to be able to get her. I whispered, well, I kind of said it under my breath. We're not going to be able to get her out of here. Or maybe I said it in my head because I didn't want her to hear we're gonna have to have the fire department come and cut that thing off of her. I mean, it's, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those seats. They're just like a little bucket and then they have the holes in there for the legs. I guess they are kind of open on the side a little bit. But anyway, it's super hard, heavy plastic, rubbery stuff. And I knew there was nothing that we could do. I'd probably get in trouble if I cut it anyway with the city or something. So while my son was there trying to pull her from the top, I said, I'm gonna call the fire department. So I went and got my phone and I called the fire department and I said, look, we're at the park on my street. Um, there's a little girl stuck in the infant toddler swing. She can't get out, we're trying, we've been trying and she's really upset and we don't know what to do and she goes oh she goes can you hold on i have a call on the other line so i'm thinking okay this is the night i called 911 so i'm thinking okay you know obviously this is not an emergency i mean yeah she's upset but and so i waited and waited and waited and of course i'm not mad or anything because i'm thinking you know she's dealing with a real emergency on the other line and uh, we live in a small town, so probably only have one dispatcher. And so then she comes back. As soon as she comes back, she says, oh, is this your cross street? I said, yes. And then all of a sudden I said, I hear this, yay. And my son says, we got her out. I said, we got her out. Thank you. She goes, <laughs> she kind of giggled. She goes, you're welcome. So anyway, that was how that went today. That was crazy. I thought we were gonna have to call the fire department out there and they were, you know, there like three cop cars would show up, I'm sure. The whole fire brigade, the brigade would show up. And this poor little girl was just, anyway, luckily that didn't have to happen. Let me tell you what my son did. He got smart. He got smarter than his mom. He got smarter than her mom. He got smarter than Anybody that was gawking at the park, which there wasn't, it was just kids. <clears throat> he decided to tilt her, lay her out, have her mom hold her like at her neck and back, and then 
pull the seat off of her with her legs straight, well, straighter, you know, pull her legs up so her legs are out and then pull the bucket thing off and that worked after they put some Pam on there. <laughs> oh my gosh, this poor kid. I mean, they should have gave my son, a, a, I don't know, at least a pat on the back for that. Cause I said, I would have never, I don't even know if I would have ever thought of that. I mean, obviously not. I called, called 911 instead. Anyway, that's how our afternoon went. And yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Anyway, sorry, that was a long story. That was a lot to tell you that little bit. But anyway, I'm glad the little girl was okay and that everybody's fine and the girls thought it was the craziest thing and anyway the first thing I got is these are so cute okay my mom when my mom came to visit I don't know a month ago or whatever she had these slippers on and she says I got them at Timu and they were gray and oh my God, they're so cute. I said, I've got to have those. But when I went on the site, they had the pink ones. They're little kitties. They had the pink ones on sale for, I know I wrote it down. Hold on. Oh yes, $4.38. They're still $4.39 right now. And they're blingy. They're so cute. They have a nice sole so you can wear them outside if you need to. They're super fuzzy. They do have them in gray. I think the gray is more expensive, but they'll probably go on. And they're so soft. Aren't they so cute? I mean, I don't really need them at this point, but next winter I will. They're so cute. I love them. And they're pink. And they're pink. Super cute. Okay. Dilly dally talking. Okay. Oh, something fell. There's little stuff in here. What? Oh. One of my other hauls, I got my daughter a ring, a replacement ring for her ring that I got her for Christmas. She picked this one out. And, uh... I got her the replacement ring and it didn't fit. It was too small. So then I got, in this order, I got her the size up. So I'll just show it to you again. It's really pretty. Anyway, yeah, the first ring I got her broke, which I was really mad about. She really liked it and it broke. So I got her and it's sterling silver those little rhinestones it's really pretty so anyway she needed a little bit bigger she wants to wear it on this finger because her wedding rings on this finger she wants to wear it on this finger and then I tried on the smaller one and it fits on this finger my wedding ring finger she says we can wear them and they'll be mother and daughter rings Aww. So anyway, now we both have one, even though I don't need another band looking ring. Anyway, that was 674 and it's now 636. She really liked it. Okay, next. Merch. My youngest granddaughter, I think I've told you that you guys this before, she loves anything rainbows. She draws rainbows. She makes everything into rainbow colors. Um, if she's drawing something, then it's rainbow colors. Uh, everything is rainbows. She'll draw a picture at school and then on the back, she'll draw rainbows. <laughs> anyway, it's really cute. So I saw this dress on Timu. It's really cute, spaghetti strap, and it's rainbow colors. Now, the top part right here feels like cotton. This, I don't know if you guys can hear that, feels kind of like nylon -y blouse material, like the material this is made out of. Oh, by the way, this is Timu. I hauled it. 
I'm not sure. It's all right. I don't know if I like the sleeves. I wish the sleeves were just a little bit longer, but it's okay. My, my oldest granddaughter said, I like it. It looks pretty on you. Or she says, Mimi, I like your top. It's pretty. So anyway, back to this. This I got in a size, I'm pretty sure I got in a size seven. Hold on, I will tell you. Uh, it doesn't say, oh yeah, hold on. No? It doesn't say, I'm pretty sure it's like six, seven, or seven, eight. Anyway, it's just a little, it's cute. It'll be all right. It's not, I mean, it's soft. It's still flowy and stuff. Maybe it says on the inside size it is. It's thin, but she always wears little bike shorts under her dresses. Huh, there's no tag in it at all, unless I'm just not seeing it. Nope, no tag. It's cute. I think she'll like it. I think she'll like it. I hope it fits. She's a skinny little thing, little tiny thing. But if I can always sew up the, if it's too big, slipping off, I can sew up the straps a little bit for her. So there's that. Did I say how much it was? No, I didn't. I paid $5.39 for it, and it's still $5.39. It's a good deal. Okay. Oh, this I hauled, and it was, it fit me, but it was a little big, and because it's a um, body, what do you call it, the under stuff, to snatch you. What's that called? Oh my gosh, I have just went completely brain dead. Anyway, it's a, yeah, it's one of those. It's a camisole one, and it's, I got the size smaller. And I know it's not gonna make me skinny. It, I got it, I think I got the first one in a 3X, so this one I got in a 2X. The 3X was, it fit, but it had a lot of extra material. It was super long. It came down past, way past my butt. And I mean, shapewear. Ha, I got it. Shapewear. Anyway, um, you know, with shapewear, you want it to fit, 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 so that it's actually, you feel like it's holding you in at least a little bit, and it's not going to bunch up. So that was super long. I had to wear it, pull it down past my bootay, and I'm like, that is not going to be comfortable. I mean, yeah, if it was, if it had shorts attached to it, you know, if it was a full body suit, but it's not. It's just the camisole top. So I'm going to try the 2X, see if it does anything. If it's super soft, it looks tiny. So hopefully it's going to, you know, it's just going to smooth you out. It's not going to work miracles. I know that just thought it would be nice if I was wearing a top that kind of especially lighter colored tops on me like white I love I love a white t-shirt but it really shows everything so I just thought it might help I don't know this comes in this comes in this color and black I believe and I paid $5.21 for it and it's now $5.78 I might not be able to get through both of these orders tonight. Oh, these are cute. These I got, they remind me of the 80s. I mean, they look like something I would have worn in the 80s. And now I'm gonna wear them again if they fit me. Biker shorts that look like flipping 80s. They are so cute. Especially because, and they have pockets on the side, so they're that stretchy um, spandex, biker shorts. They're really nice. This is the back. I don't know if you guys can see. It has like stitching. They look like they came straight out of the 80s. I got them in an extra, extra large, so they, were, they weren't in the plus size. They were um, in the average sizes. But I got the extra, extra large, which I believe is like a 14. Only because 
my legs are so thin and I knew it was going to be stretchy. So I figured they'll probably fit me. Anyway, I paid $2.87 for these shorts and they're now $2.88. So they're still, but when I originally had them in my cart, they were $2.80 something. And then they went up in price to like $5, $4.80 something. I'm like, I'm not paying that because I know they're going to be $2.87 again. And they did. So I just left them in my cart. That's what I always tell you guys to do. If you see something you like and you can't get it right away, just leave it in your cart. If the price goes up, just leave it, wait, and keep checking it. And I guarantee you, most likely the price will go down. Or you can look for another vendor that has it, you know, that may have the same thing for cheaper. And they do do that. They compete. So, anyway, those were cute and fun. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got some kind of crud going on. I got this. Now I just need a bunch of t-shirts because I bought a bunch of iron-ons. I got this one. <laughs> Let's see. I'm a hooker in my spare time. And it's a crochet hook with the yarn. I thought that was funny. Because I am. I crochet. So I'm a hooker in my spare time. I thought that was funny. I thought that was cute. And I paid $1.29 for that. And it's now $1.98. I'm going to put this back in the bag. Because I don't want it to get ruined. Sorry. Well, I'll do it later because I don't want to take up all that time. Okay, next. Okay, what is this? This, and I don't know why I spent so much on this, is I guess I was just thinking it was going to be. Okay, now in the picture, they show this as a ribbed tank. So like a cottony looking rib tank. And I like those. This is not that. This is not rib. I don't know if I'm seeing things or if I was seeing things in the, on the site. But I could have sworn it was a ribbed tank top. Anyway, this is the only type of tank top I could find on Timu and they don't come in the plus sizes which really irritates me so I don't even know if this is going to fit me um, that has the built in bras now I wear this type and I get them on the other market place store whatever it starts with a big A I get those I get these from there and I wear these instead of bras. So I thought I want to find some on Timu, see if they have them on Timu. Well, they don't, they don't have them with the built-in bra or shelf bra or whatever. These are just like a shelf bra type thing. They don't make those at all. And then, or that I have seen and I have searched and searched. And then they have these regular looking with but only in the average sizes so I got I was thinking well it'll be stretchy might fit me I don't know we'll see I don't know it may not fit me but it's just to wear under under cute button shirt or I don't know but I thought, well, if it fits, then they have other, they have it in other colors. See, I don't think that's going to fit. Here's the inside. Look how narrow that is. Well, first of all, I don't know if my boobies will fit in those little cups. But it looks pretty narrow and I'm pretty wide. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if I, <laughs> we'll see. So this is a size extra, extra large. And I paid... <sighs> I paid $7.11, which is a lot more than I thought it should be, but it's now $6.79. It feels really nice, I have to admit, 
it feels soft like a t-shirt it's just I thought it was gonna be ribbed I don't know why the bra thing goes all the way around you know towards the back it's really nice it's a nice tank top just wish they came in plus sizes I don't know why they don't I don't know or I haven't found them Okay, next. Oh, speaking of little bike shorts. I bought these for Shelby to wear under her or wear for summer. If I could open it. Okay. These would seem like a really good deal. I got these. There's one, two, three, four, five pair for $9.71. They're still $9.71. So they come in pink, light pink, hot pink, gray, lavender, and black. I'll just open it. Let me see, open up the pink ones. They are like little spandexy, nylon-y looking, you know, like little biker shorts. For, they're not cotton. Hopefully they fit her. Oh God, these look these look really tiny. I mean, she's tiny, but they're really thin. They're not as thick as the ones that I got. They look really, really, really tiny. I mean, I know they stretch. They probably will fit her. They're really, they're thin, so you can see through them. So I don't know if she'll be wearing these without a long dress over them. They're super soft. They're not, they're okay. I mean, even if she, even if her mom doesn't want her to wear these particular ones, cause they are so see-through, she can wear them for jammy bottoms. So anyway, that was a pretty good deal for five pair. And we'll see. We shall see. Okay. I think, excuse me, in my first haul, I got this shirt and I had seen Aaron from Hey Everybody. I look like, I don't know what's going on with me. Sorry. I don't know. I feel like I'm sinking. There. Um, she had hauled this Cure shirt, the Cure 80s band. Love them. Uh, and so right away I had to order it because I love them. And I feel like it looks like there's a crease right here. This shirt is from Timu. I don't know if I told you that. I think I did at the beginning. I hauled this, tried it, did a try on. It's okay. Oh yeah, I told you, because my granddaughter said it was pretty. Anyway, it's getting late. Um, that shirt did not fit me. The Cure shirt did not fit me. It's really, 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 really tight. And it was in the average size. I couldn't find it in the plus size. Well then, a little bit ago, I found they had tank tops and this is in the plus size so I got the same color the other one was navy blue I got this one it's just a regular tank top t-shirt feels like a t-shirt it feels a little like those shorts I got for her so a little bit it's not I mean it's soft but it's polyester, so it's, you know, it's not cotton. Um, the thing is nice and soft. It's not thick and plasticky. It's cute. Hopefully it fits. I think it'll fit. It's pretty big. I got it in a size 3XL. And I did check measurements this time. I checked the measurements on the thing, so hopefully it fits me. Might. I don't know. We'll see so hard to order clothes but at the same time I hate hate shopping for clothes at the store I hate trying them on in the dressing room I hate it okay oh nice they gave me empty bags folded up empty bags anybody need any of these bags my gosh I have so many of them now and why why if you're not gonna put the items in these bags, why even give them to me? I don't understand that. Okay, 
a couple hauls ago, I hauled a new um, shower curtain. It's like had green leaves. It's white. It had green leaves on it and stuff. Well, I was getting ready to take down my old one. I realized I really need a new liner. So I ordered a new liner. All their shower curtains come with these cheapy plastic rings. They're okay. They're not that great. They don't close. They just have like little hooks. But I didn't, I'm not going to use these. I bought some nicer ones from Timo. I think I hauled them with the shower curtain. But anyway, this is just a liner. It's supposed to be, it said on the thing, mold resistant. Mold resistant, I guess that's what it said. I paid $4.68 for it. It's now $7.18, but the prices go up and down on these. So just wait for it to be cheaper. And so the next thing I'm gonna do probably tomorrow is hang this up with the new hooks with the new shower curtain. I'm excited. Okay, these I got from my son. Every once in a while he get some pimplies or whatever so I thought we would try these the blemish stickers they have the little round ones it says daytime and then these beer ones for nighttime but he was wanting one to go all the way across his nose <laughs> well I think he wanted one of those black strips that takes out I'm like no I don't have those then he says well do you have those little I'm like I don't get pimples well I never really did but want some great while on my period when I was on my period but um every once in a while I will get one but very rarely I'm like no so I saw these on there you get 78 I think they're what are they called the hydro colloid colloid patches and they're transparent they're not white like that they say they're transparent patch for day and night use 78 of them for $2.98 and they're now $2.69. Pimple patches. Okay, somebody else hauled these. I think it was Hey Everybody, Erin at Hey Everybody, and she said that she saw somebody else haul them, so she wanted to try them. And they're just on the site, they call them postpartum underwear, which, sorry. That ain't ever happening again. Not only do I not want that, but it's impossible. Anyway, I think they are also like slimming underwear. So I thought I'd just try them. Now these did not come in the plus size either. So I just got the biggest size, which was a 2XL. I only paid a, they call them a waist trainer, but they're not. A dollar seventy-seven, and they're now two sixty-seven. So they're just tight around the belly. Feel like they go up high. They're kind of funky looking. I don't know why they have all this on there, but whatever. There's the back. But I just try them. I'm always up to. Oh, and they have. It does have some little boning from here to here. Here to here, if you can see, there's like a little soft boning right there. I don't know why, I guess maybe that'll help keep them up. And they feel very snug at the way, at the, around the belly part. I will try them. And those I'm not showing you guys, but I will let you know how they do. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got these for my sheet that wouldn't fit on my bed because my bed is too, um, it's not that skinny, whatever. My mattress um, is not fat enough for my sheets. My sheets are so deep pocket. These beautiful sheets I got, the cotton sheets I got on Timu. And so I got these in hopes that I can get them, these go on each around the corners underneath, and then you hook it to the, I don't feel very tight. 
anyway, you hook it around the corner underneath to hold the sheet on and you get four of them, obviously. I got four of them for $3.98. They're now $3.07. So hopefully I'm going to try to put those sheets on my bed and see if I really like those sheets. They're beautiful sheets. They're really nice sheets too. I'm so thirsty. Sorry guys. Mm. Nothing else new here. Oh, this shirt is a shirt that I've already hauled that didn't fit me. Remember this shirt? I love this shirt. It's so cute. I'm going to still wear it as like a pajama top. But I got it and I got this. I think I got it two sizes smaller. I don't know what I was doing when I got the, I think I got it in a 5X. And I don't know why I did that. This is, I'm pretty sure, a 3X. Um... 3XL light gray. I paid $5.07 for it. It says it's sold out with the seller that I bought it from, but I I see it on there all the time. All the time. I really wanted a burgundy one after I bought this one. But anyway, I just think this is so cute. I think it looks cute on even the one that was bigger. It's super soft. Now, I think I could still wear this at this time of year because it's still cool enough. But in the summertime, no. This is going to be, no. no. No, 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 It gets so, so hot here. It's cute. It's really cute. It's just so soft. I like the big zipper on it. I just thought it was really cute. Okay. Oh, God, I've been wanting these. I've been wanting these. Um... I do a lot of crocheting. I do amigurumi, which is crocheting and putting sewing pieces together. Um, you know, like little animals. I don't know if you've seen my community page. I did post a few things that I have been working on lately. But anyway, you need nice, fat crocheting needles, yarn needles. And I really, really like these. And um, I had a whole little box of them. And I can't find them in my messy craft stuff. So I got some more. Yeah, I had to use the straight needle. And I really like these hold on, curved ones. They really help me to get in and around when I'm sewing small pieces together. Anyway, I think it comes, they have different sets that you can get. This one came with five, I believe. Comes with a little carrying case, which I had for my other ones too. You get five and I think they had like smaller and bigger, like an eight pack. Anyway, they'll last me for a long, long, long time unless I lose them all or I use them for other things and they get rough. Anyway, I like those. Okay, this, me and my makeup stuff. And I'm always trying to get, I used to be really good at putting false eyelashes on. And now that I can't see very well, I'm not very good. I saw these, oh, these are kind of cool. Okay, so I saw these on, you put the eyelash in here. Okay, now these are just plastic. But right on the edges, it feels like more rubbery feeling, soft, different material. And you put the lash in there and then supposedly it's gonna make it easier to put it on my eye. So you pinch it in between there, do this so that it's easier and then lift it off. We'll see. And you get two of them. You don't really only need one because you do one at a time. but. I, I got them for $1.79 and they're now $1.98. Oh, my eyebrow pencil that I got in my last haul. I love it. I love it. It reminds me so much of the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz Micro Pencil. It's a lot like it. 
It's so nice, only a dollar something. But the color is a little warm. And I think they have a darker brown. I mean, it looks all right. It looks all right, I mean, I have it on right now. It's just a little bit warmer reddish brown than I'm used to. So I'm gonna check and see if they have a, a darker brown and maybe I can use both and mix them. I know it's a little more work, but I kind of like the two-tone coloring anyway. But I really, 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 really like it. And I'm glad because I think I got another one and I don't know what I was thinking. I'm always trying to find a good eyebrow pencil and now I have because I bought two in that last order. You know, I remember I bought two of the exact same one, which I didn't mean to do from different sellers. And then I, when I was looking for pri for pricing on these two orders, <laughs> I saw it in there again. I bought another one, so. <gasps> okay. Now, I don't know if any of you have grandkids, little kids, nieces, nephews, whatever, just little kids that you take care of or watch TV with or on Netflix, there's a show called Booba. Okay. Yeah. Sounds terrible. He is the cutest little character and I really, 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 really want to crochet him, but I haven't been able to find a good pattern for him yet. But I found him on Timu and I can't wait to give this to Shelby. She loves that show. Okay, now, when I saw him on there, they said he was seven inches tall. Seven inches. Oh, his hair is all falling out. Now, oh, this is not very nice. Hold on, he's not as cute. He's really cute on the show. Hold on, I'm trying to smash him around. Anyway, yeah, they have him sitting like this in the picture. <laughs> Isn't he funny? He's so cute. No words are spoken on the show. He just makes little sounds and does funny things, and he's really cute. It has this little, she could put on her backpack for school. He has a tail. Anyway, when they they had him showed him like this, sitting down, and they said he was seven inches, so I'm thinking, Okay, seven inches. That's a pretty good size. No. This does not even look like seven inches. It probably is from the top of his hair to the tip of his foot. But I was thinking he was going to be just a little bit bigger. He's okay. He looks like him. She'll like him. I just, I really want to do a crochet one for her before she grows out of it. I really do. He's cute. His name is Booba. Booba. He's cute, huh? Okay. I think that is the end of this bag. We have been going for an hour, almost 58 minutes. But this order is a lot smaller, so I'm just going to keep going. Get it done. Okay. This I got, and I hope she doesn't watch this. Got this for my daughter that I live with. I got it for her for Mother's Day. If I could open it, I will show you. Don't look at my nails, they look really bad right now. Somebody keeps asking me, I can't remember what her name is off the top of my head right now. She keeps asking me to show how I do my nails, so I haven't done them. Look at, I've got two missing on this hand. They're so grown out, but I was, I'm waiting to do a video so I can show. She really wants me to show how we do the dip system and the gel polish. Anyway, so I'm going to try to do that this weekend. Okay, this I got and I paid $7.49 for it. It's now a dollar, I mean a dollar, can you imagine? It's, I paid $7.49, it's now $8.19, it's handmade, supposedly it says it's handmade, it looks handmade, and it's 4.13 inches by 3.14 inches, so it's 4 inches tall by 3 inches wide, and it's really pretty. 
and it's a candle holder. I think I saw Erin on Hey Everybody haul this. My daughter's favorite color is this like tealy aqua color. And this is glass. And it's like laid in like a um, clay. It's really pretty. And this is like little glass pieces and these are like those little flat mirror stones really pretty and then you just put like a little candle in there tea light electric tea light I have some of those too I think I just thought it was really pretty they also have it in a hot pink like this color pink and I really wanted that one but I didn't I didn't buy anything for myself I keep smelling something it smells like plastic okay anyway I thought that was really pretty I think she'll like it She's not a big doodad person or tchotchke person or knickknack person, but I thought this would be pretty like in her bedroom with, you know, a candle in it or something. Okay, does it, is it gonna shut? No, I can't put it back in the right way. Okay. Oh, this necklace that I got in my last haul that's so cute has the three charms on it. it has your you get your initial it has a cross and then it has a heart it's 98 cents it's not real sterling silver obviously so it's not gonna last very long the chain is a nice box chain anyway i bought two more my hair i'm just gonna show you really fast two more for friends for friends and so I don't want to show the letters. I bought two more. Got that Mo. Mo's over here chilling and sleeping in his bed. Okay, so that was 98 cents. They're a really good deal. I think they're just darling. I really, really, really like them for 98 cents. And in case you didn't watch my last video, it doesn't matter if you put it on wrong because it's printed on both sides everything looks the same on both sides so you have the initial on both sides the cross looks the same on both sides and so does the heart which is amazing because that doesn't happen very often even with sterling silver okay i'm so thirsty i'm gonna have to get my water over there um this i wanted to try no all of a sudden, I'm buying all these iron-ons. I don't have any shirts for them, but my grandkids, my daughter, my son-in-law, they really love Disney. And I thought I would get this, see if they like it, because they have tons of different patterns. They have tons of different ones, but I just got this one. It was on sale. I thought it was really cute, and I thought I'll make somebody a shirt and then they'll probably all want one. Or if we go to Disney or something, we can all wear shirts like this. They're so cute. They have one that's like leopard. They have uh, one that looks like a princess. So like it has a wearing a crown. I just thought it was really cute. 98 cents, 99 cents. Now a dollar nine. They have a ton of different ones. I think there's even uh, one seller who sells them like three in a pack. For like a couple bucks three bucks maybe i don't know basically the same price as i paid but i just thought that was really pretty disney mickey minnie whatever cute 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 okay oh i got another iron on i'm gonna really have to. i don't like to buy the shirts i mean there's a lot of iron-ons that you can buy let me take it there's a lot of t-shirts you can buy on timu that have the same sayings or prints that you can buy with in just the iron-ons. Now, I bought some that I like the t-shirts, but I don't like the t-shirts. I like what they have on them, but I don't trust their t-shirts. They're not ever what I think they're gonna be. They're always that material I don't really like. I would rather have a cotton, at least a cotton blend t-shirt especially for the summertime because polyester is hot and it gets like 110 here 
So I am not about to be wearing some polyester t-shirt that I'm sweating in because I wanted to have a cute saying or print on my shirt. This one, how do you open this? This is in a different kind of bag. This is another iron on. <laughs> All that to say this is another iron on. <laughs> Jeez. I really have, like a <clears throat> something going on with my throat and lungs. Okay, this one says, <laughs> this is so me. I got so much procrastinating done today. I'm a huge procrastinator. I work well under pressure. So if something has to be done in two weeks, I'll wait and wait and wait. And then I will pull all nighters if I have to, to get it done. So this is perfect for me. I got so much procrastinating done today. I don't know, I've always been like that. I mean, I've gotten worse as I've gotten sicker and older, but did I say how much that was? No, sorry. I paid $1.59 for it and it's now $1.98. I've got a huge mess going there. Okay, I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit because it's getting late. Okay, I got these metallic markers. The girls love markers. I love markers. Um, they're metallic ones and I saw um, Janet from Janet's DIY Life. She did a sponsored, a team of sponsored haul and she hauled these and when she was seeing them, she didn't think they looked metallic, but when I was watching her video, I thought they looked very metallic. So I went ahead and ordered them. It's just a smallish pack. You get how many? Three, six, nine, ten. And they're 286. I thought that's a pretty good deal. Markers are so expensive. Are they double sided or just one sided? I don't know. Oh, they're double. So you get um, pointy thin end. Ooh, that's so pretty. I don't know if you can tell how metallic it is, but it's beautiful. And then, oh, maybe this one's thinner. Okay, this side feels more like a paint pen, so it's a soft brush feeling. And this side feels stiff like a thin point marker. That's nice. And it's beautiful. If you guys can tell, can you tell that's metallic? It's so pretty. Kind of like it as an eyeliner. No, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Maybe. I do love purple. I don't hardly ever wear purple. Okay. More iron ons. I guess I was on an iron on kick. Okay. I love dragonflies. This is so pretty, and of course they put the sticker right over it, but you can kind of see it. I don't really want to take it out. I don't have to. Pretty colors, teal, pinks, kind of a bluish purple flower down here. Really pretty, and I think I got the smaller ones too. They had the smaller ones. So I pay, this is an eight by eight, eight inch by eight inch size. I paid 79 cents, it's now 78 cents. That's a good deal. Yes, I got the smaller ones. These come three in a pack. You could put them like on a pocket, hat. I don't know, I don't wear hats. Uh, a little bag, I don't know. I don't, I just got them because I like them. They're so pretty. And they come three in a pack, all the same size. They are, don't know, they're probably about three inches, three by three. Um, I paid 79 cents for them. They're now 78 cents. They're really cute. Now I just have to find some something to put on them. Okay, I love satin pillowcases. 
I have two pink ones on my pillows that I sleep on. And I really, I my grandma used to always tell me that she slept with satin pillowcase. And I was like, why do you do that? And she says, and she used to get her hair done every week, you know, the old lady style. And she says, it, it, oh, my grandma was the funniest, I have to tell you this. My grandma used to go and get her hair done every week. So of course she didn't wash her hair but once a week or whatever and uh she at night it took her so long to get ready for bed she did her took her makeup off if she was she was usually always wearing makeup but she wore very minimal makeup it always looked so pretty my grandma had the most beautiful skin my whole life that I, my whole life that i knew her even up until she was 96, I think, when she passed away. 96, mom? 98? She was, she looked beautiful. Anyway, back to the story, Michelle. She used to wear her hair, a little helmet hairdos that the, a lot of older ladies used to do. They don't do it so much anymore. I mean, there's still some that do it. But anyway, every night after she got her face all clean and her creams on and she was very good about using skincare, I used to just be in awe of her watching her at her vanity and do it. She would take toilet paper. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I've never seen anybody ever do this since my grandma. But she would put toilet paper around the rim, uh, rim, the edges of her hair and clip it in with little flat clips all the way around. So she'd take it a long piece from the back and she'd put it up. Toilet paper. Seriously, real toilet paper. They probably make something that does that. But anyway, she did it every night, every single night. So she'd always have this toilet paper on and she'd sleep on a satin pillow case. And so anyway, I started thinking, I need a satin pillowcase. And so I bought some satin pillowcases at like Ross or TJ Maxx or my favorite stores, Marshalls. Any one of those has them usually. But I looked, um, they're just getting kind of old and they've been washed a million times. And, and so I thought, I'm just gonna get some new ones. So I did, they're a little bit brighter pink than my other ones. I don't know if they're as nice, but they're just satin pillowcases. They're $1.47, I got the standard size because the pillow that I sleep on is standard size. Now I do have big king size pillows for my, my decorative pillows, but, and I wanted the ones that zip. So I hope these zip, yeah that zip so they don't slip off. So they're just a satin pillowcase. I got two of them. They zip open and closed. Very nice zipper. Just put your pillow in there and sleep with no wrinkles. I don't know, it's supposed to help with wrinkles and your hair and all that. I'm a side sleeper though, so mostly it's just helping the side of my face. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know, but it feels good. It was so soft. I shouldn't do that with my makeup on. Anyway, I bought two of them. I said they were a dollar. Blah, 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 blah. They were, I don't know. I dropped it on the floor. A dollar 47 each. That's a really good deal. I think I paid $7 for two at Ross or wherever. Okay, keep on going. Keep on trucking. Oh, this is cute. She's really cute. I got her another dress. Now I know she'll be getting the other girls stuff, but it's so fun to buy for the little girls because they don't care. They just think everything's cute. The older girls are getting to that age where they're like, mm, that's not cool, Mimi. So I don't know. I thought she would like this. It's so cute. Hello kitty. She loves animals. I guess she gets that from me because she spends so much time with me. But isn't that cute? The sleeve, the sleeves, the straps have the little 
ruffle on them. It feels like cotton, I will tell you. I think it is cotton. It's super cute. Let's see if this has a tag in it. I'm pretty sure this was cotton because you know what? A lot of the kids and baby clothes are cotton. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's a tag in there. It is 95% cotton. 5% elastane. So, I think I went up a size. Does it say the size on it? Does it say the size on it? Why did they give you the size? I paid $5.64 for it, and they're not, it's now $7.82. Why don't they ever put the size on the bags? Sometimes they do. Does this say the size? No. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got like a 7, 8. I think that was the biggest it came in. So even if it's a little big, it'll shrink a little bit. Isn't that cute? She's going to love that. I think she even looked, saw it on my order thing. Another bag in there with some little stuff. Okay. Let's just get everything out of here. Oh. It just dropped something. Okay. Oh, it's that other necklace. Oh. I got a big one mess to clean up. Okay. These, oh, boring. These are um, for eyelash, for fake eyelashes, falsies, whatever you want to call them. And they are, I got some ad, ones that already have the adhesive on them. And I thought, oh, that's a pretty nifty idea. And they seem like they're going to be easy to put on. I did put one pair on. I wore one pair so far. But anyway, you can buy the uh, elastic. You can buy the adhesive strips to put on existing. Instead of glue, you can put this on there. Anyway, so they're just little strips that you can put on the eyelash band and hopefully they work. If not, I paid $1.98 for them and they are $1.98 still. Okay. Okay, this I got and it's just a UV light and it's a handheld one. I have a big one that I can stick my hand under but I wanted to get one that was little that I could just do if I'm doing like a jewel on one nail or something. I don't have to get my big light out. I can just, just hold it there. It uses a USB. It works. And then you can just do one nail at a time. Yeah. And that was $1.87, I think, because it was this color. They did have a pink one, but I'm like, I don't need pink. Um, and it's $1.89 now, so you know how they do that. Colors colors are different prices. Now, I'm going to get the cheapest one. I don't need it to be, I don't need everything to be pink. Okay, I'm sweating. It's hot. It's getting warm, you guys getting warm here and I'm not looking forward to it. May and June, we usually have like hellacious winds. We live in a valley. So especially June is usually like a huge wind month for us. And then by the time July, well, even in June, but by the time July comes, we're just dying of heat stroke. It is so flipping hot here. And if you don't have air conditioning in your car, if you don't have air conditioning in your house, if you don't have a pool, you are S-O-L. That's how hot it is. Okay, this kit I got, I always cut my own bangs. I trim my own hair because I'm cheap. And they had this kit. Well, it's not really a kit, is it? What's that? Oh, that goes on the end of the scissors. You get the regular hair cutting scissors. You get a comb, which it's not really the comb I like, but I will use it. 
and you get the, what do they call these? I forget what they call these. The, um, you know, they're the, what do they call these? I can't think of the name now. You know, so you have like a little texturing scissors. Jeez. They feel all right. I don't know. Let's see how these feel. I mean, I just have to use them until they get dull and then get a new pair, right? Because I can't afford the really expensive ones. Yeah, this was only $1.86 and it's now $2.98. But they have these, they always go on special. Anyway, I always trim my own bangs. I've lately been trimming the, my own hair. Just, I watched it on YouTube. So, whatever. This is the longest my hair has been in a long, long, maybe forever. I usually always wear my hair like about right here. So when I curl it, it's about laying on my shoulder. Like, but I've just let it, let it go. And it's long and it's every color of the rainbow right now. <laughs> I do dye my own hair too, cause I'm cheap. I used to get my hair done all the time, but that was when I was married and had a husband who would treat me to that. <laughs> okay, this I got, I wanted to check out their towels, their bath towels. I wanted to check them out, but I wasn't gonna pay a lot because I didn't know if they're gonna be that microfiber, or that stuff that sticks to your, you know, oh, can't stand that feeling. Hate that microfiber stuff that feels like that. Anyway, I found a pink one, which this is kind of like a blush color. Um, and I think it was only $2.90. And it's the pink that was the cheapest color. And it doesn't feel like a towel at all. It feels like a little blanket. I don't know. I'm not going to like it. It's not. It looks like a blanket. It's a pretty good size for a towel. It is, I will tell you, because I think I wrote it down. I didn't. I'm pretty sure I thought I wrote it down. Hold on. Does it say? It's a pretty good size. They called it a bass sheet. So it's a little... Oh, you got a bug on me. Oh. Dang it, I think I wrote it down. Anyway, I'll leave the, if you want the link. It's soft. I mean, it doesn't feel, it feels more furry than that sticky microfiber. It's a pretty color. I don't know why, I just wanted to try it and see what their towels felt like, but it doesn't even really look like a towel that I would normally buy. But it's pretty nice. You know, it's got a nice um, binding on the sides and stuff. It's pretty nice. It just looks like more like a blanket to me than a terry cloth towel, you know? I just wanted to check it out. I think that we have come to the end, finally. And my whole room is a disaster area with boxes and bags and Timu stuff. And now I have to clean it all up. And it has been over an hour, an hour, almost an hour and a half that this video is, which people say they like the long videos. So hopefully you guys like it. And if you don't, you can fast forward through it. You can come back, watch half now, watch half later. I just appreciate you guys watching. I really do. I hope you liked not have any stretch in it it fits and feels comfy but you know it just doesn't and it's not tight so it doesn't feel like it's pulling I'm just not used to sitting here in a fancier shirt oh I forgot to tell you I have moissanite ring I have this is dragonflies but it's not from Timu this is from Shein it's dragonflies just a cheapy one. It's not sterling silver or anything. Um, oh, I have my my 
charm bracelet on from Timu. I love this charm bracelet. It has a, a guard on it. And I have my new dragonfly. Is it backwards? Oh, man. I have it because I have it to go like this. But anyway, my new dragonfly that I got in my last haul. Um, hold on. Let me see if I do it this way. I have a new M that I got in one of my other hauls. If you guys can see, it's kind of got little rhinestones in it. And these are my older ones. I got this one from Timu as well. This little owl with the blue stone in it. And, oh, I have this. Is my Love Spell stone bracelet. It's got rose quartz, strawberry quartz, uh, moonstone. I don't know. It's called, it's for a love spell. <laughs> like that's going to happen. And then I have my name, my Mimi bracelet on, all from Timu. And that is it. And that, what does my friend Cheryl say? That is it. And that is all. <laughs> that's so cute. I need something catchy. I need catchy phrases. I don't have any catchy phrases. I always say, I'm back. Because I don't know what else to say. But other people have like really fun things they always say and do like their little themes and um, menopause and madness always has says her welcome to my midlife crisis I love it I love it hey everybody always says hey everybody so cool and I go hi I'm back <laughs> I can't think of anything else to do. All right, you guys. I hope you like this video. I hope you will click the like button. Timu, Timu loves that. Timu does too when I do a sponsored haul, but this is not a sponsored haul. YouTube likes that because they realize that it's real people have to click the button, the little thumbs up. Um. If you are new here, I hope you will consider subscribing. I do this two or three, four times a month, depending on how much money I can spend. Um, I do, I'm going to start getting back into my crafts. I just have to get a place to do it. I might, I can't put it in my room, but I need more space. Anyway, I'm going to start doing more, more videos, other videos besides haul videos. And if you like that kind, if you like crafty stuff, if you like nail stuff, um, if you like makeup, I love doing makeup. I'm going to start doing more of those, I hope, when I feel better. If I feel better. I am going to feel better. Anyway, I love you guys. I so, so, so appreciate you. I love your comments. I try to answer all my comments because I love chatting with you guys. I love hearing what you have to say. I love the encouragement that you give me when I do a try on. It's so, so, so nice. I just appreciate you guys so much. We are on our way. This channel is on its way to 1500 subscribers. That's amazing. That's amazing. So anyway, I'm going to go for now because I got to clean up all this stuff. I want to get my makeup off. I want to put my pajamas on and go watch something. I don't know what I'm going to watch, but I'm going to find something good to watch. All right, you guys, take care. Have a good night, morning, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this, and I will see you in the next video. I make a lot of videos, so I'm going to make sure you do it. And smash that like, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!